Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says Two sides AB and BC and median AM of one triangle ABC are respectively equal to sides PQ and QR and median PN of triangle PQR. Show that first triangle ABM is congruent to triangle PQN and second is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. So we are given in triangle ABC and triangle PQR side AB is equal to PQ side BC is equal to QR and the median AM of triangle ABC is equal to median PN. And first we have to show that triangle ABM is concurrent to triangle PQN. Now in triangle ABN and Triangle PQN AB is equal to PQ This is given to us and BM is equal to half of BC since AM is a median so it divides the Side BC into two equal parts and we have BM is equal to MC is equal to half of BC. Now we are given that BC is equal to QR. So this can be written as half of QR and half of QR is equal to QN since again PN is the median. And this implies that QN is equal to NR is equal to half of QR. Thus we have BM equal to QN. And also we have AM is equal to PN. That is the median of both the triangles are equal. This is also given to us. So let this be 1, this point be 2 and this be 3. Now with the help of equation 1, 2 and 3, we can say that triangle ABM is concurrent to triangle PQN by SSS congruence. That is, in two triangles, if the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of other triangle, then by side 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 congruence, both the triangles are congruent. So, this proves the first part. Now, in the second part, we have to show Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Now in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, AB is equal to PQ. Let this be 4 and this is given to us. Also angle B is equal to angle Q and let this be equation number 5 and this is because triangle ABM is concurrent to triangle PQN and this implies angle B is equal to angle Q by CPCT. That is if two triangles are equal then their corresponding parts are also equal. That is angle B is equal to angle Q. And BC 
is equal to QR and let this be equation number 6 and this is also given to us. And thus from 4, 5 and 6 by side angle side congruence we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR and thus we have shown the first part the triangle ABM is congruent to triangle PQN and triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. So this completes the session. Take care and bye for now.